Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful and super quick video about a hand. Hey guys, how to remove or replace cylinder door locks. David just will explain that uh, in this video. It will take only a few seconds. Before we start, let me tell you if you need to buy any parts tools for your hand and you can and you want to save quite a bit of money, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our tools and supplies from. Number two, uh, if you guys know about us, every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. We try to save you as much money as we can why we do that okay because guys our mission is just to save you money but all we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video now let's explain how to do that quickly on that Hyundai Sonata many many Hyundai's will use exactly the same design guys so this is the cylinder door lock okay okay right here so if yours is damaged if it's rusted sometimes people will not use them for a long time they will be stuck rusted they will not work anymore or somebody tried to steal your car and you need to replace it uh, let's explain okay how you can simply okay replace that pretty simple open the door and right here there is a cap okay that cap uh, if you get a plastic prank too you can remove it right here on the inside you have one bolt usually Okay, could be a Torx or 8mm socket, guys. So, in our case, it's 8mm socket. We're going to go ahead, okay, and start unscrewing. Make sure that this bolt does not fall in the door. Don't get it all the way out. At the same time, try, okay, open the door handle a little bit and grab the cylinder, okay, and pull on it. Oh, it came out. Now, you don't need to worry more about the bolt. Make sure it doesn't fall out. Later, when you install it, make sure that the bolt is even without plastic. Otherwise, it's not going to go in. I told you guys, just a couple seconds, check it out how simple it is. Now you can practically replace it with a new one if you need to. That's your cap right here that you can disconnect by applying this clip here and it will just open and you have only the cylinder door lock. Hopefully the video will be helpful, thank you for watching and see you guys next time. 